What's up, you guys? You already know, now this podcast with your host, Little Body T, and I'm just happy to be here. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Little Body T, now this podcast, and we back, season two, episode two, and as always, y'all already know I'm happy to be here. Every time I'm here, I'm just going to let y'all know I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm telling you guys, I'm here. I'm trying to get these shows up and going. And um, just get them running as much as I can and upload them to my YouTube. So if you're watching and you're tuning in, please subscribe. Now this podcast on YouTube. Facebook, the link is right over this video, okay? It's been a pretty good week, I swear. I mean, shout out to our sp- sponsor, Just Fine Lashes, you guys. If you guys follow Just Fine Lashes on Instagram, okay? Make sure. I got a special, special guest. Well, my guest is special to me. Fuck that. I'm more special. You more special? Oh, shit. Buck Madoff in the building. Yes, yes, I'm here. Now this. Now this. <laughs> Introduce yourself for the people, Buck. Um, I go by Buck Madoff, um, and I sell hats and shit, so I don't know. You do what? I sell hats and shit. That's it and that's all? I mean, yeah, that's all you need to know. That's weird. <laughs> that's what he said. Now, I'm a father. Um, okay. Um, I am an entrepreneur. <laughs> um, you know, just out here trying to get it, trying to stay inspired and inspire, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's, what's, that's what I'm doing. You know, they know you. A few people know me. Brooklyn know you. I know a few people. You're kind of popular. A few people know me. How did you get so popular, Buck? Um, I don't know. Just being outside. Mm-hmm. You know, just being outside, really. And, you know, connecting with the people. Shaking hands, kissing babies. You was kissing babies? Not literally, but... You running for mayor? Yeah, mayor of Brooklyn. <laughs> that, I don't want me to be the mayor of Brooklyn. Shit, it's going to be lit out here. Free Casamigo, fr- <laughs> Casamigo Fridays. Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday, Saturdays. It's going to be lit. Half Fresh. off every liquor store. You know what I'm saying? Whichever one you want, dark or light. You know what I'm saying? If I was mayor. So that's why I can't run, because the, the, the town will be full of alcoholics. Why would you want that? That's why I'm not running. Like, for example, I tell people, I can't work in no bank, I can't work in no sneaker store, because I'm going to steal. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not going to put myself in that situation to steal. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Bye, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They gotta go. Why? Because they could tap in to YouTube and watch when it come out. Oh. Oh, okay. You know I, no, I remember before it was live. No. My show was never live. Oh. oh okay. I did a live. Sparrows was live. With Sparrow. Shout out to Sparrow. That's the guy. Oh. NWO News. Mm hmm. You was here too for that. I know, that's when I met you. Yeah, in person. Because yeah. we were connected through the social yeah. media world. Yeah. Man, in person. I'm funny about that, too. Because I don't understand the social media thing. You should better understand it. Like, people just friends and don't even know people. I mean, I think it's like who you follow, too. Like, for me, I stopped. Well, my page got deleted. My main, my first... Well, my second Instagram, or maybe third Instagram from when I first had Instagram. But I had like almost, I had 12,000 followers. But I was, I don't know, I was just, I was just on some reckless shit. Mm-hmm. But, um, reckless like what? Like just, it was really like the Trump supporters. I was just like inviting them to the Frank stand. <laughs> everything, just, just saying mad wild, doing mad wild shit. And um, I don't know, they just X my page out. Clipped you. Yeah. I haven't really heard Trump name. Mentioned. Yeah, because he's not, he can't be on social media. They banned him. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But not even in the news too much. It's like he went ghost. I mean, because with the, the, the social media is like a newspaper. So it's like, mm-hmm. what you do on social media gets you in the news for mm-hmm. the most part. Unless you're just like doing some wild, outrageous shit. And then he's not president, so he don't have the platform to, you know, to do what he was doing. So his supporters were big mad. 
Yeah, they stole. They said the election was rigged. Every election is rigged. It's not a surprise. Exactly. They know who's going to win. Yeah. Before they win. Mm hmm. But yeah, so you got deleted and then. Oh, so I had to make a new one and I just started following like more positive. Instagram accounts, you know, just to put me in the right mental space. I'm big on black entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just follow things like that. Um, even things that I don't know. Like, I love um, uh, Earn Your Leisure. I love their Instagram because they, you know, teach people more about money. Like, from we from, we don't learn about how to use money properly. You know what I'm saying? Financial literacy. Yeah, financial literacy, yeah. So, you know, just... Following things like that, of course I got the little bullshit in there. You know, I can't. I, I ain't gonna. I ain't just gonna go cold turkey on the bullshit. Need some but, you freaking know, ratchet. I, you know, I, I definitely turned that. Uh, turned 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 it down. Yeah. Even when I'm, you hit me, it was like yo, take a Uber. I'm like nah. I'm, um, I walked over here because I'm trying to be budget frugal. More, you know what I'm saying? So cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, be cheap. I, I am frugal, like, frugal. I'm it's the same. It's the same. I don't. I don't mind. Like it's different when you cheap and you have the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a different frugal. Like, yeah, that's why it's not so, cheap. No, it's still cheap. It is cheap. It's because not because if you like yo, if you like yo, I got yo put in on this bottle with me. He's like nah, I got it, but I ain't nah, I ain't doing it. You still be being cheap. You being frugal, but you also being cheap. Like words have negative, negative like uh outlooks on it. To where, like, ignorant. We are all ignorant to something. Yes. We are all ignorant to something. So if you told me, yo, Buck, you're ignorant to um, doing hair, you are right. I am ignorant to that. So, you, you, you like, with these words, it's like, it, it may be looked at as a negative word, but it's true. I'm cheap. I'm, I'm being cheap. I'm mm -hmm. being frugal. You choose I'm being to ignorant. Though. Yeah. Because like you said, it's not that you don't have the money. Yeah. You choose to. Yeah. I get well, different things. Now this. Now this. <laughs> Anyway, so you follow positive accounts, but you still keep the ratchet. Yeah, I have to. I'm from from the projects. I gotta keep the ratchet. Mm -hmm. I can't just go cold turkey. So you really not gonna tell the people what you used to do? You don't care for that? Cause you, I mean, I used to make music, but because it's what you used to do. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to talk about that to me. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not. I want. I, I be on platforms to kind of like promote shit for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unless, like, you know, acts to come somewhere. But if I, like, I'll have something coming, and I'll set up a whole press run just for that. Mm -hmm. And when that's, whatever I'm doing is over, it's no, for me, in my opinion, there's no need to be seen because I'm not promoting nothing. But I want to know, like, why you stop rapping? Because I'm old. And <laughs> just ask um, I found something that's working for me. So I feel like when you have something that's working for you, it may not be what you grew up wanting, but it's working. Mm -hmm. So you better, that's your shot. And you might be good at it. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. If so, it's working for yeah. you, you must be good at it. It's funny that you said that you're old because I swear me and my girlfriend was just having this conversation like how some people over, I mean, we literally, right before I came here, was having this conversation. Mm -hmm. Some people over a certain age, it work for, and others it don't. And uh, her example was 2 chains. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he didn't really become a popular rapper until he was in his, like, mid-30s, yeah. and it worked for him. Well, one thing about 2 chains too, he was always in a loop. So it's not like he came out of nowhere. He was in ludicrous old videos, like, move, bitch. He was in those videos. He, he, he was he, signed to Ludacris, actually. He so knew he, people. Yeah, so he knew people, you know what I'm saying? He just had to get he just had to get shit right and, you know, work for him. I, I mean, a better example would be, like, Griselda, like, Benny the Butcher and um, uh, Conway the Machine and, um, what's the dude's name? Um, I forget the, I always forget his name. Um, anyway, it's like three of them, but, you know, they, they, they almost 40 and they just kind of reaching mainstream. Mm -hmm. But, you know... What they did was they found they lane and they found they sound and they found their fans. You have to find your fans. If yes. you, if don't rap and be like, I want to make music for everybody. That's impossible. You cannot make a whole album that's geared to a five year old and a, 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 a 60 year old. You may make a song that they may like, right? 
that 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 could. But you know, just as an artist, it's just it's it's just impossible. You know what I'm saying? It's never been done, so I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it's never been done. So it's safe to say that you think you were a good rapper. It's just your time span. Yeah, my time expired. That's I'm cool up. with it. Like, and you another are. thing with streaming, like, I was all right. Stuff changes. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like things change, things evolve. So when I was started rapping, it was lunchroom bars. You know, um, school, get your, get your name up in the school or the neighborhood or in the neighborhood. So, you know, did that. And then that's right when I left school, that's kind of right when um, YouTube started. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of late on how to monetize off YouTube. Like Meek Mill was really early. I didn't get the concept of, yo, these views are fans. I wasn't even thinking like that because I'm still... From the Jay Z, I'm from Marcy, so I'm still out the Ain't trunk. Ain't nothing nice. <laughs> yeah, out the trunk. Um, me and my friends we used to travel around the the um the country selling CDs. Right. Like right. ourselves, like we're not even 21 years old. My friend told me a story. Like we, was, I have pictures of me in the in the hotel. We have mad bottles of liquor. And he paused. He was like, "You remember what I had to do to get those bottles?" I'm like, "Nah." He's like, "We had to get people to buy for us. We was too young." I'm like, "Damn." So we was that young, dedicated to our craft. Mm-hmm. But the only thing is, we should have documented it on um camera you know what i'm saying just the kids and it, and it was kind of working because like again it was youtube was still coming coming up so um you know we would still go sell cds um we was we were signing chicks titties and all of that you know what wow. i'm saying so it was it was a good time i remember one time we had chicks in the um we had chicks in our hotel room and in the um lobby and we was just going back and forth and our focus wasn't there but of course we're 20 years old we got chicks out of state we thinking we doing something, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it was it was good times. But I say that to say, um, the streaming thing is another thing because now I have to learn a whole new Channel. network and just mm-hmm. trying to learn this. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm not learning this shit. I'm not learning this shit. I you didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to learn that shit. But That's I know me. you just got nominated, right? You, I oh yeah, I, have, that yeah. Social I got media. nominated for the best um, packaging. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, shout out to Exotic Mommy. Um. Yeah, she uh, nominated me because my last album, it was, um, I had an, again, with the streaming. Mm-hmm. So, people love tangible shit. Like, they do. They like the whole mm-hmm. stuff. They like, you know, to, you know. So, I wanted Feel to bring it. it back to an essence of when I opened the CD and looked at the book and kind of, right. um, you know, the right. pictures and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what I thought about was selling my project out of um, a shoebox, a custom shoebox. So it took me a few years just to make sh- learn shoebox, learn about that. My first shoebox design was horrible. So I'm glad that I took the time to learn. You know, I looked at my Nike box, I looked at my Adidas box, and it was so simple. And then you have to put in mind, okay, this box have to relate to different types of people. So the first one I did, it just related to like um I would say like backpackers, like people like that. Mm-hmm. But I want to relate to the street dudes too. So I had to turn it down. It was too loud. So I just made it a black shoe box. Like I said, I looked at the Nike box, looked at the Adidas box. It's simple. A check and one got a, a, a leaf. So, all right, keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? Another thing I tell people is sometimes we can't do what we want. We have to do what makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Yeah, so it just made sense to do it that way. And it worked. I sold over 200, 200 boxes for $40. So, nice. you know, it worked. Independently. Yeah, independent. What I do like, though, is that I'll be seeing on your, uh, as of lately, too, more so. Maybe I'm paying attention. Whatever. You be giving, like, little free game yeah. into the industry. So I'm like, okay, maybe you, you say, maybe I'm not a rapper, but I could get in this lane. And help young up and coming artists because yeah. that's what it look like you be doing, yeah. and that shit is free. Yeah. Even when I see you be like, oh, hire a um, proper, yeah, and they are agencies out there. I mean, you think you probably even could come up with a team? I don't them? want to. No. no, I don't want to do that. Just something you don't want to do. Yeah, I don't want to do that. The hat. I don't want to be in charge of nobody's career. No, the hats. Be, yeah, nobody's life. Yeah. You like the hats? 
Yeah. How that came about, Buck? Because the match um, is dope. I was high. Me and my son, Polo, we was high. And um, we was like, yo, let's just make hats. And then he was like, all right. So um, I'm that type of person to where if I want to do something. Now, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I was kind of looking at another hat. It was called, it's called La, La Para, La Para, something like that. Mm-hmm. And um, this is the hat right here, by the way. Yes. I got mine, too. Yeah, she has it. I, um... Did my lashes the day I wore them and I would use this glue. My eyes was all teary, my nose was all red, and I didn't realize I was making a video doing that. And my friend was like, "You okay?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I just was using the lash glue that I use on my clients, so mm. my eyes was irritated, my nose, cause I mean you be crying. So I'm like, damn, I done made this nice video, but my face looked like I'm going through something. Like mm. I was, I was. Oh, the crying. video you sent me? Yeah. Oh, you that video. Thank you, but see, that's because you don't know me like the that. The background, the you backstory. Don't, you don't know me like that, nah, but nah, she nah. knows me, so she's like, I'm red, I'm like, oh, so she looks. I'm going to look at it again. She, she like, the you was going, I'm like, no, I wasn't crying, it was the oh, lash glue. I'm going to look again now. So if you ever pay so attention. So when I post it, y'all, make sure you look at it. Because another thing, too, like I have a lot of videos and pictures that I didn't put up, mm-hmm. and this goes again with putting stuff out when it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I don't have no hatch right now, so doubt. So why would I promote hats? Yep. Why would I promote people with hats? I don't have none. Mm-hmm. Cause all people go, yo, let me get, let me get, let me get, yo. I don't have that one right now. That shit fire, I need yeah. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I rather that shit fire, I need one. It's available. Yes. Then, bro, wait two weeks. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because then people. Two weeks. Yeah. They not thinking about that. Hat yeah, anymore. they not thinking about it no more. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of pictures. I have a dope ass picture. I can't wait to put out. I had this shit for like two months, but um, I was I was blocked on Facebook when. <laughs> Uh, when I got that the picture. when I got the picture, so I just can't wait to put that picture out. I'm not I'm not posting or saying nothing. Facebook, if you hear me, I promise, just leave me alone. Don't <laughs> block me no more. Them yeah. seven days was not like good. I, for I me. did thirty days, seven months last year. Yeah, see, no. thirty days set for seven months last year. So no. I was like, damn, bro. It was just like no. one day I had a lit video shoot. I had a chick there. She was damn near naked. And I posted some shit that morning, and I was blocked. I was like, "Fuck, I can't even go live." When you came but, back, you was blocked. You no, know, um, I was up in the morning, and I posted a picture, mm-hmm. and it was like, "Yo, they just blocked me." I was like, "Damn, man, I can't even go live with this chick later." Stop doing. But the video stuff. was still fired on. So Stop doing stuff. I did. I haven't. Been, no, I was. I did just come out of Facebook jail. Yeah. And hey, somebody was. Yeah, you sure did. You came out right before I did, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not going back. Yeah, I'm kind of chill. I ain't going back. And somebody going to say, oh, uh, you do your podcast. You should have more than one page. I said, I do. I have the page. Go follow the Now This Podcast page. Because as far as making another Facebook, I'm not doing that. I don't understand how people be having four to five pages. I mean, I, I get I, I understand what they mean, but they don't know the work it takes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff Email. like, yeah, oh, no. it, it, it's a lot of work. And. Oh. Like, just follow me here. Now we have followers on our main page. Mm-hmm. Before we used to have five thousand friends or whatever it was, and that was it. Now you know, if even if you have five thousand friends, you can have followers. Yep. Shout out to my three thousand followers. Yeah. So you know, so that's about eight thousand people now. That's mm-hmm. you know, that's that's under your uh, Facebook. So you get more. Yeah. For, for now, I got. Yeah. For now. Yeah, I think I only got like three thousand friends though. I don't even know these people. They gotta know you. I be saying stuff. You should. You should be say serious. more. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. We're going to get you there. You're going to push me? Mm-hmm. All right. See, I'm here for that. So where are you going with the hats? It's going to be more? Um, oh. I got another shipment coming. Um, I'm excited about We got a... Uh, we restocked on the colors because, again, um, again, when, when, do, when jumping into something, just learn. Just learn business. Learn colors. Just learn, just learn, man. Like the market. Yeah, learn marketing, man. Because um, people ask me, "Yo, make this color, make this color, make this color." I can't, can't give people everything they want because once they have what they want, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Imagine you got everything you wanted, then you'll be like, "Damn, it's, it's, you be looking for shit." Yeah, you be looking for shit to like, get into. Yeah, you can't just have everything that you want. So I'm not gonna give people this color, this color. It's, it, it makes no sense to me to make a pink hat in the fall. Mm-hmm. No, that is a spring color. You have yeah. to wait for spring for me to make that. Have you ever noticed though, like there's always like a, a seasonal color, like yeah. burgundy. Yeah. 
yeah. was like this color, like yeah. you know that just get, it's always like so now we looking to see what's gonna be the full color, which I think is gonna be like a orangey, burnt orange. I can't wait to see that, but we don't know yet. Yeah, it's always Probably a color with the season. You gotta follow Asian. Um, follow Asian. Um, I'm giving you a designers a, a tip too. Pay attention. Follow. Well, it depends what type of clothing you're into. Too. I'm into streetwear, but follow um, Asian. Uh, Asian clothing culture, it's it's fire. It was a site I had, so I gotta find that shit. But it was just like amazing. The colors or the Not clothes, like period. The, it was like an Instagram for. It was like a Facebook for fashion. That's mm-hmm. literally what it was. Mm-hmm. Facebook for fashion. So everybody was up there commenting, leaving their remarks. Yeah, just mm-hmm. like different outfits and shit, and it was just like. And this is before I did clothes. I just I just was already. I'm just into fashion. You doing clothes? Eventually. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So you started uh, your page for the Culture Matters. Yes. I, um, Culture Matters was something I wanted to do four years ago. But again, um, I don't like jumping into a hundred things because you have to focus on stuff. Yes. If you have a thousand dollars and you're doing five things, now you're putting two hundred dollars into five things instead of putting a thousand dollars into one or even five hundred into two. So you have to be able to um, you know, just put as much into what you're doing as possible until one is operating on his own, kinda. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's why I didn't rap and do that. Mm-hmm. But it turned into some whole different shit now. Like what culture matters is going to be was not what what it's going to be. What it was gonna be four years ago is not what it's gonna be now. I really don't wanna say what it is yet, but it's definitely gonna be fire. Nobody's doing it. Um, I have a great. Um, I have a whole cast mm-hmm. of some dope ass individuals. I just can't wait to put the ideas that's on paper on on people's uh, phones or TV. I can't wait to do it. No. Yeah. I'm excited because you. You know it. what it is though. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, I just can't wait to. But I won't say it. I no, won't no, no, no. Let you yeah. say. But yeah, I just can't wait to um, bring that to life. It's gonna be so fire. Like I already know. Like I, some things really you just is. know it's gonna be fire. Like these really hats, is. I didn't know it was gonna be fire. I I, I realized it because it sold out in Vinny Styles in three hours. The first time we got in there. Shout out to Vinny Styles. Yeah, shout out to Vinny Styles. So that's when because we me and Paul we was bullshitting on it for a little bit. So um, we sold out in three hours and then we was like nah, but we bullshitting. Like we we put it in Vinny's. We went to get something to eat. I think we looked around the shop or whatever. Then we went back to his crib. Um, we was doing something on YouTube. I think we was looking up just marketing and stuff like that on YouTube and stuff. And then he was like, yo, the hat sold out. I'm like, what the fuck? What you mean? He said, this is yeah. fire. Yeah, so once that happened, and then the next day we brought more, and that sold out in five hours because it was raining that day. I think it would have sold out faster because more people would have came in. They needed a hat because they yeah. Or that too, yeah. And it's, but, it's, 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 it's calm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's calm. It's calm flea. Yes. Like Polo said, the only thing only thing that matters in this world is getting flea. He texted me that yesterday. Who said that? My, the, um, my, my oh. partner that makes the house. That's the only thing that matters. But that, we don't really to believe that. To this culture. Yeah. We don't really believe that, but it's, it's something cool to think about when you're designing you know what I'm saying? Or thinking of the next thing to, yo, know, right, we got to get the world flea. Like, that's what we care about, just getting the world fly. So you got the best I fly. I want my hats in there, too. I'm going to go in there and see what's up. Go in there and see what's up, because you know they got their own hats. But I got my hair curled, because I went out last night. Mm-hmm. And um, that's why I ain't got the hat on, because I, I got the hat, too. I mean, you support. You support it. You ain't asked for a discount, you, mean, you know. So. I, yeah, I support. No, because you know what, Buck? A, a few years ago, I really, when everybody was jumping on the uh, support black um, businesses, I really wasn't there yet. Mm, why not? My money wasn't there either. Okay, so that's understandable. I was why digging not? my so hole. You can't I was support yourself. Black, you black and you can't support yourself. Yeah. You can't support nobody I'm else. I'm keep it real. I'm not even going to say anything. Mm-hmm. So I, got to, I had to get my credit shit. Wrong with that? But at the same time, I just felt like so many people were jump into own businesses and not doing the research like you said. Mm-hmm. They were lacking on packaging, mm-hmm. uh, time management. Um, I ran into some people who were telling me 
something was one size and it really was another. So mm. that kind of made me shy away. It, it'd be like, damn your own people, especially when I come with all my money mm-hmm. and I'm not asking for a handout or a discount or saying, you know, why so much? Because I just genuinely want to support. Mm-hmm. I, my, my, my thing with that is this. Everybody, anybody, black, white, Asian, just because you're selling something don't mean you're a business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can't, if this person is selling straws, right? Mm-hmm. And say for some whatever, this shit is like closed. Now yeah. you're like, oh, I'm not supporting black business no more. The straws is closed. For one, it's like, He's not a business. He just try, he's just starting some shit up. He's trying to yeah, become trying to a do, business. Yeah, so so you trying to support. Yeah, so don't don't ask out a whole race of people for one person's fuck up, like because that's not fair. Because somebody could see that, and this person has really had their business running for five, six years. Now you're telling people not to support them, and because of somebody that started a business last week or started doing something last week. And that was the point I was trying to make it to. Yeah. And when you start in a business, you have to do the research. Mm-hmm. And also being a consumer, you have to do the research. Mm-hmm. So from my end, I had to go back in and be like, wait, let me just see what they about and then purchase instead of just going in, supporting, mm-hmm. wasting my money and my time. I'm going to try again. So now I'm like really back yeah. on fully supporting Black people who I see trying. I see some other people I want to reach out to. Like, I've been seeing this G Soto. Shout, oh, I was just, um, shout out to G Soto. He was crazy as, um, all right. Again, this is marketing. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I love, as much as I love rap, I love marketing. People don't know that. I love marketing. Mm-hmm. That's why I was so out there as a as an artist, because I love marketing. So, I, you know, I, I may not say what I'm doing or why I'm doing because I'm a rapper, I want you to look at me as a rapper. I don't want you to look at me as a marketing f- fucking genius. I want you to look at me as a rapper. But geez, um, another what I did was this. I um, I know how the hood is. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna support you when you first come out with something, depending on what it is and who you are, and the price point that it is. So my price go for at fifty dollars. I do not expect for me to. Start making, stop rapping, mm. just suddenly start making hats and have people buy them for $50. My ego is not that big to just be like, this is going to work. So what I did was I detached myself from the brand. I put them in stores first mm-hmm. that my target audience would know, that my hood would know. Yeah. So I put them in Tom, Dick, and Harry. Me. Yeah, I put them in Tom, Dick, and Harry first, which is up the block from Monsey. And then I came back to the hood because it's like, oh, it's here. Oh, okay. It must, it just adds value to it. You know what I'm saying? Great moment. That's just what it is. Like, you can't be mad at something that's been going on since before our time. You have to learn how to work around it. I understand. I just started rapping. Now I'm selling hats for $50. I just was selling boxes. And now it just look like I'm just fucking just selling anything. So, no, okay, detach yourself from the brand. How can you detach yourself from the brand? Put it in stores. But anyways, G Soto hit me up. No, no, I'm just babbling, not you. G oh. Soto hit me up. He was like, yo, um, yo, um, congrats, blah, blah, blah. Then I didn't know who he was at the time. So then um, I looked him up. Mm. Like, oh, he make hats too. Cool. Um, and I thought his hats was in Vinny's. Mm-hmm. So I had hit him up like, yo, bro, how you get your hats in Venice? He said, my hat's not in Venice. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to um, meet with them later. Once once I got the okay to get in, I'm like, yo, I'm going to meet with them later. I'm going to see what's up. And he was like, cool, let me know what it takes to get in Venice. Mm-hmm. And then I let him know. So we not even like, we um we met on some just some random shit, me promoting my hats, and then he have his hats. It's the same type of hat, but you know we're not hating on each other. So much money to get. It's nice hat. Yeah, it is. His, his hat is fire, yeah, and I see a lot of people with them. Actually, I just met lot. him at Saad Show um, Saturday. Saturday. Whatever day it was, was it Saturday? Yeah, it was last Saturday. I met him for the first time in person. You know what I'm saying? So you know we chopped it up for a little bit, and it's just each one teach one. Like, you know what I'm saying? If if I can help, I'm gonna help, and I know if he can help, he gonna help. And again, it's just a simple hat 
nice and neat. Nice logo. Yes, you know what I'm like clean. And I just was like, oh, I really. And then I start seeing a lot of people. Yeah. I'm like, oh, all right, I'm gonna. Yeah, his marketing, his marketing, his marketing is marketing is great. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like we have a few different tactics, but whatever works for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do what works for you. Sometimes what may work for me may not work for him, mm -hmm. and some things that work for him may not work for me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it don't matter because we have Jay Z and we have Fifty Cent. They ain't do the same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any other clothing shit. designers or people you want to shout out? Um, black owned that's doing a thing right now. Clothing, I, I don't know his name off head, but I just shouted him out on Instagram. K, um, love his, uh, what is that? Love, love something. I can't think of it right now. Oh, you but sure I, did. I, I, um, I, I like pause. I like him more than the brand. Mm -hmm. Like I paid attention to him <laughs> more than the brand because I like to go. I want to talk to. I want to know who the the boss is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But his shit is. Like his shit is so fire, you know what I'm saying? Like his shit, he just put out some sneakers, and then he put the price of them, and then he showed like how many sneakers is in the trunk that he's delivering, and I was just counting like two fifty, three thousand, yeah. oh my son about to make five thousand dollars, and I'm happy, genuinely, like yes. not even like thinking about hate, and I'm like damn, this no, is, and this is inspiring, like this, yeah. like he's where I'm at. If he could make this and that, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's not sneakers, it's just like inspiring for me. That's just how I look at it. There's no hate. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know him. I never met him. I, we never talked in the inbox. I just see what he's doing and I just shouted him out. He actually just got married and um, mm -hmm. he designed his, his um, what he wore because it wasn't a suit. But he designed what he wore in his groomsmen. You know what I'm saying? So that that's nice. fire. You know Cause I mean? clicked on it and went and checked him out. Yeah. Once I seen you posting. Yeah. That's that nice. shit is important. Like, cause I know, not to sound cocky, but I know people fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I know if I say, "Yo, this is fire," that people gonna look into it. That's why I don't. I can't just say something that's fire and I don't like it. Right. I can't do that because Can I need people count. to your buck track record of what's fire is good. Not just even if it's for money. Like somebody offered to pay me something. Like, nah, I don't like that shit, bro. Another thing I don't do, I, I don't wear clothes that's not fire. Friend or not. You know what I'm saying? Because Just to support people you. know me for fashion. Like, people they know do? me for my clothes, yeah. So I mean, not right now, right now, no. So why you come here looking like that? I mean, I'm calm. I'm calm. That's like, how you do me? I mean, what? It's, it's black. It's black on black. Black is always a good color. Yeah, I but <laughs> I mean, it's so hot to get fly right now, man. I had my daughter today. I had to drop her back off at her mom. You know how hard it is to get fly with a kid? Like, <laughs> But see, you're a calm flea, as yeah. you say, because yeah. I'll say fly. Yeah, calm flea. I'm old and I don't care. Well, I'm not old, but fly, but flea. Because you're still a calm flea. Yes. Yeah, no, nah, this ain't flea. This is calm. Them kicks Yo, these kicks everything is flea. To yeah, me. these kicks I don't is flea. Know. Yeah. I These still are, ain't get it. You know what's crazy? I wanted these shits since 1996, since Georgia the Jungle came out, and I never got them until recently, like a month ago. Now, how many pair you got? One. These shits was like Just 300. Go. They are. They are. Yeah. I see some white ones. It's the, the up tempo, the black um, the black up tempos, because I can't see it on my feet. Yeah. But the black up tempos with the air on the side. Yes. But yeah, yeah, it's like these is these is calm fleet. It's like one of those, I my outfit is regular, but he got those on. Right. He good. He got whatever hat that is for those people that don't know. Whatever. He calm flea. It's a calm flea. Yeah. Because he's still going to stand out. Yeah. If you walk, if a girl walks down the street, she's yeah. still going to eye him, y'all, yeah. basically. Because you're like, oh. Okay. Yeah. Like, all right. If they know. If they, they know. it's on their feet. Okay. Brooklyn girls know. Yeah, Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn girls. Shout I love, out to I love Brooklyn. Shout out to the Project Jones, too. Shout out to the Project Jones. There you go. <laughs> I never got posted on your project, John Page. Because you don't post pictures in the projects. I really don't. It's a, it's a science to everything. I really don't. I, I, yeah, I'm not from there. Mm, you still a project? I'm from the side block. Oh. Why you projects? Why don't you Nothing's wrong with living in the so project. But there's a stigma. Fuck they stigma. Pissy hallways. That's just what it is. Elevated. That's what and it, it is. is. No matter where project you in. And it's not it's not where you from that defines you. It's where you it's not where you at that defines you, it's what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the projects, I'm from doing wild shit being young. I remember I, I was about to rob this dice game at like 14, 15. Getting gun and all. Like I, it was a it was a revolver. Thirty eight and I'm just glad I didn't I ain't want to. I'm glad you but did. But peer pressure. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm just glad like I didn't do that shit. Back the in the days, came, right? As soon as they came, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah I'm not doing this. I'm out. I'm out. I didn't really want to do it. But peer pressure used to be a thing. It still is think... a thing. I was about to, oh, God, there you go. It's, uh, peer pressure is always going to be a thing with teenagers. But I think we come to, the, like. I was, I, you got to think for a teenager, not an adult. Adult. If you, you know I'm talking what, about for teenagers. Oh, okay. I think yeah. now, now, now more teenagers are aware of themselves because of the social media era. And it's, like you said, so much positive stuff on the internet and negative. So they have a choice to gravitate to either or. But it was always like that. It just wasn't on social media. But I could have been watching... Um, I could have been watching... What the fuck was out? I, I could have been watching... What the fuck was out 20 years ago? I could have been watching fucking Oprah instead of Oz. Mm-hmm. But I was watching Oz because that shit was lit. You know what I'm saying? For, at least for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was always a choice. It's just... It just wasn't social media. But it was always a choice. Buck, I had to watch Oprah. My grandmother watched that fool. No. <laughs> I couldn't See, watch... My mom's, I couldn't watch all. My mom's... We, I, I've been in a project since 97, so... We had a TV in the living room, our room, so we was good. So I know some people be like, yeah, it was only one TV in the crib. We had cable no, in our room. No, it wasn't, but uh, that's not the case, but... Why, so why was you watching Oprah? Because we just had to. If you Shit had, like you, that, I'm telling you. I, I can I'm telling you, my grandmother was strict as. So why you had to watch Oprah if? Because that's what she had, was watching. So why you, you couldn't go just room? go cut on her other TV in the room? Oh, that's her TV. This one, all it. You couldn't. No, go, that's what I'm saying. I know what I mean. If it's in your room, that's her TV. Yeah, you couldn't go in the living room. You couldn't go in my grandmother's living room. Period. Mm. See, we lived in the south. You couldn't just mm. go in the living room and chill. And kick so you didn't have cable in your room? Yeah, it didn't matter. Oh. Can't go in her room. You couldn't go in her room and watch TV. Period. Mm-hmm. And if she was in the den, because we had a den, mm-hmm. you had to come sit in the den. You could just go in your room and just say, "I'm going." Yeah, den. Oh no. Yeah, it was just. Well, shout I'm, out, I mean, shout out to grandma. Especially not watching no odds, because she was a Christian. You understand oh. what I'm saying? So by the time odds came on, she would have been in her third grade. <laughs> No, my TV used to have to go off at ten o'clock. I used to be under the bed, under the covers with the flashlight, reading my book. Oh no! Nah. I yeah. wish I wish my mother. She told me to read more, but the thing with telling kids to read is like, don't use it as a punishment. That's you know, growing up, I realized that don't use it as a punishment. Like, go read a book. Yeah, no. But then I ain't gonna want to do that shit. No. When she'll come in and check, yeah. and I'll be under the covers with the flashlight reading, yeah. and she like go to bed. But then she'll know what I'm doing. Yeah. She'll close the door. She'll just let me read. My baby said the club books, the whatever I was Ghostbusters at Those the time. Yeah, and I used to just always be interested in reading, so she ain't bothered me. So watching Oprah World is fine. No, she like nah, that. Dragon Ball Z was one. <laughs> I should have grew up in the projects. I was just kidding. Was just Power kidding. Rangers. You missed a lot. Oh, I watched Power Rangers. Oh, okay. But I just wasn't really into it. I watched it though. It's weird, right? That's why I'm so weird now. Well, you're a little bit older than me, so. It's kind of like out of it was out of your your age range, I think. Okay. Yeah, cause I remember I remember the first episode dropping. I remember that and Pokemon looking like what the fuck is this? Go go power Rangers. Yeah, I remember like I remember watching it with my peanut butter. I was crazy. I was in the project then. I was in foster care, but I was in um Fort Greene. Mhm. And um, I don't know. Every day after school, um, my foster mother she would make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich with a clove glass of milk. And to this day, that's my favorite sandwich. So shout out to Mama Hula. Shout out to Mama Hula? Yeah, Mama Hula. Mama, peanut butter and jelly never going out of style. I don't care. Sorry, this shit is good. This is my favorite drink. If you want if you want to get to my heart, <laughs> buy me a don't case Don't nobody want to get to your heart. Buy me a case of this. <laughs> anyway, buy me a case of this. I, I will give you his P.O. box information. Mm-hmm. So where you can ship it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let her know my PO box. If you want to get to my heart, buy me a case of peach, snapple, peach icy snapple. You'll be in my heart forever. Small little things. You don't, you you got a, a girlfriend, Buck? Mm-mm. Wow. Mm. He's single, y'all. I don't have a girlfriend because I don't know. I don't know. Tell the truth. You're a player. You out here. I'm not you a in player. these streets? No, I'm not. I'm not a player. <laughs> he out here in these Why streets. Why do you think I'm a player? I didn't think nothing. I just well, assumed. Assume. I made an assumption. I'm not even that attractive to be a player. Here we go. Now this. Now this. Don't <laughs> start with me. I'm all right. 
I'm I'm all right. Like I'm, I'm I think I, this is how I think of myself. Uh-huh. Okay, I think I'm a ten. I act like a ten. I walk like a ten. I carry confidence. myself like a ten. Yes, As you should. confidence. But in my heart of hearts, I know I'm not. But that don't matter because it's how you act. And carry yourself. Yeah, as a man that attracts women. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So, it really, it really don't matter. And, and I'm not going to say I'll get 10 out of the 10 baddest chicks. But for me, if I could pull two or three, I'm good. You know, just just, just trying to get more bread. Because a bad bitch course, right? Them bad, bad bitches course. course. Bad bitches course. <laughs> they do. I ain't paying for everything. I ain't gonna lie. It depends. It depends where we at. We just dating. Mm-hmm. I'm not paying for everything. But if you, if we together, then I ain't gonna front. I don't want no bad bitch like that though. Like, like a quote unquote bad bitch Instagram bitch. Like, like those type of chicks. I want a calm, fire chick that could wear white ups or, you know, she got her red bottoms in the crib for when we go out. Just red like bottoms. Calm hurt. like. A, a calm flea, a calm flea chick. Like she's fire in the face, fire in the body. Mm-hmm. But um, you know she not looking her Sunday's best every time she goes out because that shit costs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going out. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. What you gonna say? I was gonna say I'm not going outside if I can't look my Sunday's best. No, I'm talking about yeah, tire. Like yeah, like every the time flea, I go Like out. no, no. What I'm saying is. I like like you got a you got a bed style fly shirt on. That's not like a Louis shirt every day that you go out. Nobody's doing that. No people it's do. The hood. They pe- gotta go sit down. People people look people want that. I'm not gonna say they look, but they want that. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because they, it's just like you're following a nigga that's a millionaire. Mm-hmm. You cannot keep up with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Live under your means. Yes. I walked here. Yeah. I could have took an Uber. Yeah. You was like, you ain't even offered to pay for the I'm like, no. Nah, I sure did. Work. You know what I'm saying? Because live under your means. Mm-hmm. I bought, I ain't gonna front. If you know me, you know me. I bought three pairs of sneakers this year. That's it. That's all. Because I'm focused on my hats. I'm focused on getting this shit off the ground. Mm-hmm. I got a big ass order coming. After that, we're gonna more than double that order. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to touch a hundred before the years out. Getting into habits, yeah. making habits of yeah. spending less so you can reach your goal. Yeah. And I mean, yo, that's why I be telling people like, don't invite me out. I don't care if it's summertime. Don't invite me out every week because I'm not coming. Mm. Outside, outside costs a lot of money. It does. So for me, I do like a week in the house, a weekend mm. in the house because that's regular, and then a weekend outside. Mm. A weekend? A week, like yeah, I do. A, you know, you go out on oh, a weekend. So you do a week, a weekend in the a house. A weekend in the house, no, and then a sense. weekend outside. I'm not coming outside every weekend, mm. unless it's some free events in the park. Yeah. But <laughs> but even that, you gotta get your butt. You gotta get See? your little no. bottle. No. Well, at least me. I, I don't smoke, and um, I cut. Yeah, I don't smoke weed. You don't? No. Mm. I don't know, and I, I um cut cut back on alcohol because driving, I'm not. I'm a responsible. Uh, driver, I don't drink and drive. I don't drink it. Well, I don't drive at all. But. So no. So I cut down on the alcohol because so that wouldn't refer to me. But for the hood, you know, everybody want to be in the park with they yeah. uh, gumbo. I ain't mad at it at all. They nice Casamigo. Mm-hmm. So it do cost even just to chill in the park. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you ain't roll up and smoke your shit. You waiting? I don't know how to roll. You lying? I do. How you smoke weed and don't know how to roll? That's what the ladies are for. Ladies, put your bid in. <laughs> if you know how to roll, you need a roller. You know what I'm saying? They come through. Hey, you got butt? Yeah, I don't know how to roll them. I got you, boo. All right, yeah. So you don't got no girlfriend, but you talk to like four girls right now, right? I don't talk to four girls right how now. How many? Talk to eight. No, Damn! No. <laughs> nah. I mean, I talk to people, but you know. You said. You sound like the guy on Twitter who was married, and then the wife found out. It just came out, and she found out and exposed him on Twitter. Mm. He was speaking to thirty females. Applaud that man. <laughs> now let's not applaud that. And she is. Now, if you married, then um, you shouldn't do that though. Honestly. No. See, the thing is this, right? You gotta know yourself. Like, if you know you yes. don't like other bitches or other females, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, they a chick that's into chicks. Like it's it's options to do it. Like yes. it's, it's ways to do it. Yes. But 
God's just, we just dumb. No, no, no. You know what gets it for me, Buck? I won't even say that y'all dumb. Y'all are dumb. No, we are dumb. Y'all are dumb, but I won't even say that y'all just dumb. Y'all want the farm, but can't afford to feed the cattle. That's why, that's why I got to make my money. You get I'm, what I'm, I'm saying? Trying, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make a certain amount a month. I'm trying to make 10000 a month. Polygamous relationships are really a thing, but no woman... You can't be broke. Yeah. All right. All right. That thing See, is a real thing. With, with guys and, and females, we have to understand by nature, we have roles. In my opinion, we mm-hmm. have roles. And for me, I'm a provider. I look at my memories. I've always been talking about providing for a female, providing for a female, providing for a female, because that's what I believe a man should do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But a female has to play her role now. Right. For me to be a provider, now you have to do this. You can't expect me to provide, and then you lazy as fuck. You, you lazy, the house not kept, the food That's not done. That's lazy. You know what I'm saying? All that is we, just yeah, under the umbrella we, of lazy, but yeah. We, and and then me even being a provider, I don't want my woman working forty hours because when not I come home, not taking the initiative. Yeah, not taking the initiative to do shit for your man. Yeah, yeah, just knowing what he likes and and, and vice versa, knowing what she likes and and stuff like that. Because you know, even as a even as a provider. That um I look to be, if your chick is in the house, yo, give her some yo baby here. Go out this weekend. I I got everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I'll, I'll take care of the crib. Let her get her time. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I may have a fucking screening process to date. Like, listen, this is what I bring to the table. Mm-hmm. This is what I want. What do bring? What do you bring to the table? And what do you want? And now we have to. I hate that I, bring to the table. Shit. No, the, I do though. Okay. I understand. I get it. It's I, no. But um, then what else I saying? Oh yeah, I, you know we have a list of what you what you bring to the table and what I bring to the table, and then if we like each other enough, we could just see. Okay, I, I don't have, I don't need this, you don't need that, and we could come together as one. Common ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But why you hate the? Why you hate that term? Because it's just like show me. I don't want you to tell me. That's where I think I'm at. I'm like, just show me. I need you not to talk. A good one. I need to see it to believe it. Mm-hmm. And then, because that's how I, I move. I move with actions. Everything I do, I show people how I feel. It's Because everybody used the word love so disrespectfully now. So instead of me showing, instead of me telling you I love you, I show my love. Especially I want you when to tell I. Me that. Yeah, no, I I say it. It's one thing to yeah. <laughs> it's one thing to say no, it, to but say, no, I want you to say it. I say it though. No, I want you to say it. I say it, but no, I want you to say it right now. <laughs> say it. Now, let me yeah. stop. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you right now. See how you play? It? Look, <laughs> now this. Here we go. I say it, but I I show it. So I want this. I want it reciprocated. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So don't sit to the table. If I'm showing you that this is what I'm doing, I need you to show me what you're doing with your consistency. If I'm being consistent on my level, mm-hmm. be consistent on your level. Mm-hmm. That's how I think. And then we can have the conversation, but what you bring to the table, don't. Boy, you, I might block you just look for that. I really would. But I know you don't like um, your woman out here showing a body on social media, boo. Mm-mm. But I mean... Don't you? But you like the bag. I mean, you like just because I want to see it. Don't mean I want my woman to do it. That's I don't know. I don't know why y'all think that. That's a double No, it's not. Cause you gonna go on the bad bitch picture, like her butt in the ear, her stomach. It's not my woman. That's her man's problem. That's not my. That's not my woman's problem. I think that's like a little. It's not a double standard. I think it's a little. Okay, again, I'm a traditional dude. Mm Mm-hmm. When. Could have when, and what time in history could have your neighbor be able to see you with a little bit of clothes on? Besides now, that was back then. Uh, okay, this I'm a traditional now. person. Evolved. Of course. And I, okay, with tradition, I just feel like with tradition, I feel like um, it evolved. And of course, some things evolve, and I get it. Like. Personally, mm-hmm. I don't even want my chick posting herself on her bathing suit. Now, this is personally. Mm-hmm. Even but, if she at the beach? Yes. Per- even if she at the pool? Yes, personally. <laughs> but I will compromise with that because, again, this is not back in the day. Mm-hmm. But on some regular lingerie type shit, why are you posting your lingerie on social media? Like, 
Because she's happy me, with her body, probably. She can be happy with her body, but why does my friend have to see you like that? Your friend shouldn't be following her. Why not? Why is your friend following? Because if you're your my lady? woman, you're gonna meet my friends. Yeah, but that's that's see that's where I, that's the social media thing gets me every time. She your friend in real, he your friend in real life. She will see him when he come around. I don't think that if I get into a relationship, my man's friends, I don't want them following me. He don't. Even I mean, have it to depends tell how me. close we are. We've been together for five years, and you meeting my friends. That's just natural. That's natural. They could meet. We could hang out. We could go on double dates. I still don't want him following me. Okay, so you don't want somebody following, but you can show your body to other random niggas. That's not that's not cool with me. Mm-hmm. That's just me, though. People could do what they want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, again, I'll compromise with the bathing suits. And that's just me compromising. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. I don't want to. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm making that. Because when I... Cause when, when you don't want when you don't want me to do something, and I'll be like, listen, I compromise this for you, you gotta compromise that for me. I don't wanna hear it. So I let people know, listen, I don't want you to do this, but I'm compromising with you. I really don't. Mm. I don't think other men should see um Your woman. My woman in a in a certain way. I really don't. That's just me though. But all right, so that's one of those things like we was talking about as far as like people looking up to these celebrities and these millionaires trying to do, you know, we were just talking about earlier trying to do what they do and um with like what they wear. But I think that's one thing that we can take from celebrities. These celebrity men, they show off their ladies. They let their ladies be free and, you know, show their... I'll show, yeah, I'll, I'll be with you when you put on your bathing suit and, and I'll show you. And, and body. And they proud because it's like, as a, that's my woman. That's yeah. my... Yeah. You can see, but you But I'm with touch. you. Not you shaking your confident. ass with your friends and now a whole bunch of, yo, where's that? Yo, my niggas is here. Like, I know how this shit go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I know how this shit go. Like, where's that? Where, where y'all at? We, we pulling up. Yeah. With their friends or her, 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 your friends, male friends, and he bringing niggas. And even though you know, you may be loyal, but don't even give him that visual. In my opinion, don't even give him that visual of you to see you like that. Like, so that's just me though. That's just me. That's just me. Before we go, less is more. <sighs> less is more. More is less. Mm-mm. Less is more. The less they see, the more they want. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Before we go, what's your opinion on the state of the culture before we go? Which culture? The hip hop community. I think hip hop is great. I think we're in a time where people could be themselves for better or for worse. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think the, 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 the authentic is always going to last longer. Authentic authenticity is always gonna last longer in hip hop. Always be more respected. Um, shout out to Eddie Kane. I just listened to his project um, like five in the morning because my daughter was up, mm-hmm. and that shit was authentic as fuck. Like I'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna hook y'all. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cross y'all, hook y'all up. Right, but he's, you um, sense. you know, he's he's authentic as fuck from his look to his music to his videos. And it was just, like, fire to see, like, yo. And I've known him for, like, 10 years. And, you know, he's at that level to where, like, I see it. You know, I see what, he knows what he wants. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I listened to this project, like, five, and, like, I don't even know what's my favorite song. I got to listen again. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Eddie Kane. That project was fire. That project was fire. I think it was called 1224. That shit was fire, like. Well, I posted him. Actually, posted him. On, I posted him like five in the morning. Like, yo, this shit is fire. Yeah, I heard him. How he feel? It's been a good time talking to you. It's been a good time talking to you too. Well, I'm gonna do this again with you. Hopefully. No, for hopefully real. we do more. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to my sponsor. You know what? Just come on my platform and play with me, right? Like cool. I'm not. Pause. Cause you you want me to show them how he want me to, and I'm not gonna do that. What? That's it. <laughs> anyway, shout out to my sponsor, Love for Drip. Follow their Instagram. It's been really good, you guys. Now this podcast, make sure you tune in and follow Buck Madoff. Follow me, and I'll see y'all next time. Yes, yes. <laughs>